Hello again from Bear River, September 22nd, 2023. The flow is 130 cubic feet per second. I'm at the Groot Camp, a very special and beloved place. The river really widens out here. Then there's the rapids down below. The river makes a big bend right here and creates this area where people have always gathered. And this land has stood the various vibrations of so many different roots and cultures since the Pornisinan were run out of here. Although I've heard that Bear River was the stronghold and they didn't let go. And my mother-in-law as a child played around Dog Bar down there. And she played here along Bear River. And she saw the grinding holes in the rocks and she said to her grandmother, who made these holes? And her grandmother said, the Indians. And that was back in the 40s, 50s, probably the 40s. And this river's been flowing all that time. And hopefully it'll flow the rest of that time. And Rollins will fill up with silt, and Combi will fill up, and the Bear River will keep on flowing. Pick up its sediment and take it on down to the sea over Camp Far West, and the beaches will be renewed, and the living ecosystem will function. Right now, Bear River does flow from the headwaters to the sea and peak and pulse flows in the wintertime if we get wet winters, which we did last year, and we might this year too. I think that we're on a good run for our precious river. And when Bear River gets a chance, it converts all these cobble areas into wetlands and meadows, and it's got this beaver core. The beaver army comes out, and I don't know how they do it, but they reshape the land and engineer living water. And this living water is headed down as part of the water circle to the sea, and then up into the sky and the winds and the clouds, and back over to the land to nurture life itself. And back down Bear River, living water, and back down to the sea. And that is the circle, the water circle, and the circle of life. Mani Wachoni, water and rivers are life.